Hey guys, what's up? It is Danlags, and welcome back to a brand new Let's Build, guys. It's been a while since I've done a Let's Build here on the channel, but now that there's a new update and a few new things to play with, uh, I found a little bit of inspiration. So today I'm going to be starting a Victorian house Let's Build. Um, maybe a little bit of Gothic mixed in, if you're talking about style. But uh, I think I'm just going to call it the Victorian house in the title. Who knows, maybe it'll eventually become a mansion, depending on how big it gets. But I'm just going to kind of get started with it today. Kind of lay down maybe one wall or something like that. This is going to have a lot of detail when it's all said and done, hopefully. So let's just go ahead and get started with it. I'm going to go ahead and grab some some sandstone, smooth sandstone. Uh, let's go ahead and get some stone brick. Probably also need some uh, pillared quartz. And some quartz stairs, maybe some quartz slabs. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some new stained glass. I'm going to grab some black stained glass as my windows for this build. And I think that's a good base of blocks to start with. We can always add more fancy blocks. I'm also doing this on a custom super flat world. So um, pretty much this goes down several blocks here to bedrock. So if I want to, I could add a basement to this particular build. I'm not sure if I'll even do that, but it is possible with this new super flat feature. So uh, I'm going to start off with uh, a wall of sandstone. So I'm going to go ahead and place this here. Actually, I might start with one base of stone bricks. So I'll probably take this down an odd number because I want the windows to be odd. So we're going to start with two, three, uh, four, five. Probably want to make it pretty big. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, nope, whoops. Thirteen might be good. Is there like a village off in the distance over there? Oh, yeah, look at that the corner of the screen all right so before i get too distracted let's go ahead and see so we have 13 here that's fine i'm gonna take this up as well i'm gonna take this up a decent amount uh that's pretty tall let's see so we got two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen let's make this two blocks taller 16 should be all right so this is going to be kind of like the front wall of the house and i really don't have a whole there are a whole lot of plans for this thing to be honest i'm just going to kind of build something if it looks good it looks good if it doesn't we'll do something different i don't have a whole lot of a plan so it's going to be a little bit of uh just guess and check work i guess so i'll start off with um a little bit of pillared quartz here i will take this up a little bit from the ground just one block in i'll probably have this go up maybe five one two three four all right, we already have it going up five so on this side so let's do five on here and then I'll probably do a sideways stair on top of that, like this. Maybe an upside down stair here. These are going to be like the first windows on the side. So that gives us two windows there. And if I, my math is right, I think I should have room for five windows with one block separating each one of them. If I did that math correctly. So we can confirm that in a minute. Let me actually go ahead and add another set of pillared cords right here and right here. So that kind of like connects those windows nicely. Let me go ahead and confirm that notion. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this up one extra one in the front. I want to kind of make this thing very, very um, wide and have a lot of protrusions. So it's going to be a pretty fancy looking build, I think, when it's all said and done. Like I said, Victorian style. Again, I don't build Victorian style very much. So if it's not 100% you know, accurate, then whatever. It's Minecraft. But uh, I'm just going to go with what I see. I live by a lot of Victorian houses, so... Uh, not fancy ones, but, you know, just basic ones. So I'm just going to kind of just build and see what I can come up with. That's usually the best way to do things anyway. So I'm going to take up a couple more pillars here. So I, my math was correct. That is absolutely perfect. I should have like a... So I kind of make these things gradually taller in the middle. So it kind of goes from two to three to four and then back down. That's fine. I like that. I'm going to grab a stained clay because we got to use some stained clay. Also using the default texture pack for this uh, Let's Build, guys. I might switch to the city. Um, if I decide to, I don't know, depending on what, how the blocks look and maybe I'll switch to the city texture pack, but I really like building in the default. Um, I don't know. It's just something like since stained glass came out and stained clay, um, I just like building the default again. So I'm just going to do what I want to do and build in the default. Uh, but obviously, you know, it, cause it's another thing is, um, I build in the city texture pack for Los Angeles all the time. So you know, just constantly building in the same texture back over and over again gets a little bit repetitive for CLD at least. So doing let's builds, I want to mix it up a little bit and use some different ones. So I'm going to put some upside down stone brick stairs right here. And I'll probably turn these maybe. Like turn this inward like that. 
that might look pretty good. And then this wall here, I'm not actually sure what I want to do with this. In fact, uh, I might put a sideways pillared quartz there and there just to kind of close off that space and connect that to that green. But down here, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm thinking about possibly taking maybe two blocks out from there and have this run all the way through. We can get rid of this quartz. This is not necessary. So I have that run like that maybe. And then I could possibly take a lining out with some slabs around the edge. Just kind of create this little frame for the front of the house here. And then this space in here, I'll probably just fill that in with quartz. So there's maybe like that. That might change later, but for now, we'll just fill that in with some quartz. Uh, that's fine. So next thing we want to do is maybe add like a garden or something out front here. So let's take this out a few blocks and add maybe a garden. So maybe like right there. Take this out. I don't know. Three blocks is probably fine, honestly. Maybe I'll do four. And then I'll go maybe one, then three, then one. I'm okay with that. Let's grab some... Actually, I might hold off on this because I might need... To, I'm going to need a lot of different blocks for that. So I'm just going to hold off on that and continue working on the house. We can always get back to gardening later. <laughs> it's not like the start of the build. Okay, so next thing I want to do is... Well, let's see. Should I place an upside down stair here above these windows? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure yet. I get a little bit indecisive with these things sometimes. I definitely want to do some pillared quartz above that though. I think that will look pretty good. Uh, I might even do pillared quartz above this as well. Or or maybe I won't. Maybe I will. But I definitely want to add some above that. And then I might just do something like this. Place some upside down stairs like that. Maybe a, a slab right there. Just to kind of frame this shape. Uh, I, w I definitely want to add some fence gates as well. At some point during this build. So we'll probably add some spruce fence gates. Because those are pretty nice. And then I'll probably put a sideways stair there and there, kind of like what I did there. Uh, I might put a full stair here. I might actually even shape that corner. You know, full stair and then shape that corner. That actually looks pretty good. Maybe we'll do something like that. Um, okay, so this is looking pretty good. I might actually put some sideways blocks there and then add maybe another set of glass. Could be a possibility. Maybe do something like this. And I might even take this up even more. Maybe. Actually, this might just be a full block. I'll go like that. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let me take a step back here and look at this. Yeah, alright. It looks a little weird right now. Definitely. Definitely looks a little bit weird. But we're gonna we're gonna fix it. We're gonna make it look a little bit better. Um, what do I want to do now? I think I'm going to Probably add some more upside down stairs. I might even add those fence gates as well. What do I want to put right here though? Maybe a slab. A couple of slabs right there possibly. And then I want to kind of extend this sandstone. Take this up like this maybe. Uh, okay, I should probably fill something else right there. Possibly turn this. So it's like that maybe. Uh, Yeah, for now. Might change that back later though. Not 100% sure yet. I'm just spitballing, guys. Again, when I'm doing, like, random stuff where I don't really know what I'm building to start, I just kind of don't know what to say. I'm just I'm just trying to get something started here that will look decent. So just bear with me if I'm just... I sound like I'm completely rambling and trying to... to using too many filler words, so I apologize. But let me just go ahead and add some walls here. Let's just take this up a little bit to a point where it's where it's looking good. And then back down here, I don't know what I want to do with this. I might have this extend out and then this extend out. So this is kind of shaping that space. And then I might do some thing like that. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Kind of shape that there. And then put another block right here. And another block right here. It's good that we don't have to worry about weather. That's one thing that I like. <laughs> I don't have to uh, I don't have to sleep either. It's good times now. I, I mean, this it's, uh, love the menu part of this update for sure. Take that to the wall probably all the way across. There's still some open space right here that I need to fill in. So maybe some stairs. No. Um, wait, is this a full block right here? Okay. 
I might do that and that. No, 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 no. Maybe there instead. I got to fill that space somehow. I got to figure that out. So we'll just start with something like that, maybe. Yeah, we can always fix that later. Yeah, right there. There's, there's a void there that would need to be filled, and I don't know what to fill it with yet, so... I'm not sure. Maybe a full block, or a slab right there, and a slab right there. If we can break that, maybe put a upside-down stair here instead of a regular stair. That could look a little bit better. And then possibly... What are we going to do here? Might leave that open. And then this could just become... A full block possibly to kind of fill that space that could work it's still hanging a little bit so that probably needs to be changed like this part right here i don't like that kind of hanging but it's not bad that's not bad it could be better it could definitely be better though but I, I i like that okay so let's continue here what do i want to do next oh man I probably want to go ahead and take some sandstone across through here. I'm going to extend this out one block probably. Oh, wait. Um, there's some extra space right here. I should probably just fill this in. I'll use something different here. I'll use some stone brick for this part. Uh, wait a minute. Can I break this possibly? Is that going to show anything? Nah, just above the window. Okay, and right there right there okay i'm probably making this a little bit too complicated for a first episode so maybe i should just go back to basics for a second here and just start to fill in some space uh wait hold on i don't want to do that that just messed something up no it didn't okay we're good yeah i should probably go back to basics here a little bit because i'm getting i'm probably i think i'm getting this making this a little bit too complicated right now so let's let's um let's add another level here um okay so i'm gonna put some upside down stairs probably running through here a little bit and then I might add some more windows. So maybe take this up a few. This is going to be kind of like the second level. I got to make sure that I... Actually, I should probably do this now. I got to make sure that these levels are good. So if here's the window. This would be the floor right here. So one block above the ground. That's fine because we can add a porch or something like that that connects to the house. That can step you up to this so it's elevated. Uh, this would be, I guess, where the second floor would be right here. So that actually works really good because that goes right above that window. That's cool. And then maybe even below the window as well, I might add a little bit more, like another level here. So, because I don't even know if this is going to be the same level for each part of the house. So that might be useful to add right there. So at least we got that squared away before we go any further. Next thing I want to do is get, let's get some black stained glass back out here. Let's put... I don't know, three right there. Wait a minute. This looks weird. That's even. Since when did that become even? I probably want to make that odd. Uh, wait, no, it is odd. No, no, I want to do three windows. Like I'd have down below. Not two. So then this would be window. This would be quartz. And then I'd probably just add another thing right here. So extra block. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. It's going to look good, though. It'll eventually look good. It just needs time. Nothing. This when I, I this probably is gonna be a mansion. Now that I'm thinking about it, just looking at this first wall that I'm building, this is probably gonna be a mansion. So, so that's that. Okay, guys. So I just took a second to recollect my thoughts here on this thing a little bit because I was starting to look a little bit lost in ideas. So, um, I think I have an idea. First thing I want to do is I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm going to just take that straight through like that. So that kind of like negates that part there, which looked weird when I first built it. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I think the rest of this is probably fine. Uh, I'm probably going to add a little bit more detail though. I'll do this now because uh, I think it'll make it look better and make it look like I did more in the first episode. So as you guys would probably expect, this is going to be, a, I would say, a fairly long let's build. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, last time I tried to, last time I started a really long let's build, well, what I planned to be a long let's build, I ended up like not even really doing it, which was the Japanese house. The house turned out great, but it was just a lot easier for me to just build it on my own. So where I could just like think instead of having to talk. Cause that it's, it's really freaking difficult to talk and try to think and build at the same time. So 
I'll try my best. I, I've done it before. I'll do it again. Okay, so I'm going to do something like that just to kind of spice up that space here. I'm going to add a little bit there. I might even throw a flower pot right here as well. So we'll just toss that in right there just to kind of make that space look a little bit better. I'm pretty much happy with these windows here. I like how it goes uh, three, then four, then three. I want it to be kind of um, like bigger in the middle, I guess you could say. So, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and add some upside down quartz stairs right here. And I'll probably throw in another upside down quartz there, honestly. Um, let me go ahead and grab some pillar quartz here. Probably throw in another one right here as well. And I like that uh, being right above the stained glass uh, panes. So that's always nice. And I'll probably throw in, let me get some slabs uh, there or there. And like that, just kind of frame that shape. And then I'll probably grab some more sandstone and take this through here like that. And I think I'll take that two blocks up and then I can extend this as well. So that kind of um, nicely frames that shape there. So I think that looks pretty nice. I like that. Okay, so I have to keep like coming back and checking to make sure that this thing looks Victorian at all. But... I think we're on the right track right now, and it's it's not doesn't look a whole lot Victorian right now, but I think we're gonna add like that Victorian style roof, and it'll look a little bit better. So, um, it's got a lot of detail right now, that's for sure. So I think we're we're kind of on the right track. So let's just keep on rolling. Uh, next thing I want to do, let's see here. So I kind of filled in these little gaps here, and I added a little bit of quartz real quick. Uh, I think I'm going to take this and have this kind of wrap around like this. And then I'm just gonna probably start to place some some stairs as like the roof. We just might as well start it right now. Let's go for it. Uh, I'll probably take some smooth stone as well as some more of this stuff. I should, probably shouldn't. Okay, this this needs to go. Uh, bye bye. Okay. Uh, okay, this and this. And I'll probably have this run down to like there. And then I'll probably just connect it to the pretty much the house and turn it here. Something like this. Do the same thing on this side. Have this here. So I'm going to do a stone bricks, stone brick roof. I think that'll look fine. And I'm going to make it probably like pretty tall. This thing might even look like a castle. Who knows? But okay, so let's go ahead and add the next thing. And that is going to be... Well, first off, let's go ahead and take some quartz and wrap this around like this. Because I want to make like an extra little roofing thing here, so... That looks good, and then I'll probably do an upside-down quartz stair right here, maybe. Is that a good spot for that? Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Same goes right there. And I'll probably go ahead and do an upside-down. Now, no, I don't want that to connect. So maybe I will move this in a little bit, and then I'll make this a regular stair. Because that basically works in the same same manner. Or, or does it? Wait, hold on. Let me take a step back here. Um, I want the stair to be to be like this, right? But I don't want it to connect because I want to add like another slab right there, and I don't want to connect that. So that's a little bit of an issue. I think I don't know. Honestly, is that really a problem? No, it's not. So we're just gonna go with it. Okay, and then I will take this across right here, and that'll kind of be like this extra roof up here. Looks good. Maybe I'll just take that up in our level. Is that just too close? No, it's fine. Okay. So, next thing to do would be... Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I have an idea. What if I just lower this a little bit? There we go. And then this just can be sandstone. Right? Yeah, that works. Okay. So, that's that's kind of like the little spacing that I need there needed there. So, that's fine. Okay. So, next thing I want to do is come up here... And I'll probably just turn this into a regular block. Same goes right there. I'll make that a slab there, slab there. And then just pretty much have that run down. And that, that's that's fine. That actually looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, so we already have these stairs. So let's go ahead and get some stone bricks out. And this is how we're going to finish the first episode. This is this has been a doozy, guys. I'm sorry. It's uh, This is going to be a hard let's build to keep up with. No, no doubt about it. But I wanted to do something fancy and something that was like really, really detailed. So um, hopefully this is uh, it's gonna fit that bill. 
I'm gonna go ahead and place some upside down stairs there and some upside down stairs right there. We'll turn these here, just add a little bit of detail on this wall. Same goes right there. So this is probably gonna be all we're gonna do for today. No, we're gonna add a little bit more, but slow and steady wins the race in this house for sure. So especially because I haven't really planned out anything. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to kind of take this up. I want to really angle this. And I want to have this connect to the top. So hopefully it'll connect. I, it's on the right track, so hopefully it'll just kind of connect itself and I don't won't have any issues here. I tried to make it as symmetrical as I could. It's really hard to get this thing to the next level. You have to place like four blocks and then break them. Okay, so how's that looking? That's kind of like, that's going to be like the height of the roof. Ooh. Okay. Wait. Let's let's give this a chance. I'm going to take this in a few blocks. We'll probably just connect it straight across, actually. That's probably better. We'll connect it straight across, and then we can add more detail to it after that. So here, have this run down. Like this. Whoops. Okay. And right there. All right. So... Then what I could probably do is something like this. Have that space go there. I could do three and then three, one and one. Would that look good? Oh, you know what else I could do? I could add some, what are these things called? Cobblestone walls and the edges here. So I could put one there. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a cool, this is a cool design. I always think this is really cool. on like, it's like gothic. That's a little bit gothic, but I like that though. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. And then I could add um, like one of those roof things. So I'll probably just put anvils, but that'll be like a railing up there. And then you could like be access that space. So, all right. Looks a little bit better than it did five minutes ago. What do you guys think about that? It looks a little bit vic Victorian. It's getting there. It looks a little bit more Gothic than Victorian, but it's getting there. So I'm going to add a little bit more. And then I think we're going to conclude the first episode guys. So whether this thing becomes a mansion or a haunted house or a freaking house, regular house, I, I don't know what it's going to be. I'm just going to call it the Victorian house for now, but I might switch it up, switch up the title later on because I really don't know what this thing is going to be because I have never built really anything like this before. So I always like trying new things when it comes to let's builds and this is definitely something new. Again, I don't really build Victorian, so I wanted to branch out and try something different because I love building new things in Minecraft, and this is definitely new. So, add a little bit of leaves on there. Definitely add some character to the place, no doubt about it. And then we could probably finish up with this with this little idea for this thing. Actually, I should probably grab some stained clay. Some brown and some black will do. And I'll kind of just spam this. Um, I want to leave a couple spots for dirt, so I could... So I can add some, what is this, what's it called? Uh, some flowers and some ferns and stuff like, stuff like that. So I'll leave some space for that. I'll also grab some leaves and things like that as well. So maybe we'll throw a, a fern there, a flower, maybe another fern. We can make that brown. Two more black and maybe there and put another fern. And then the rest of the space can be assorted leaves, right? Not too shabby. Okay. So something like that. I like it. Oh, it actually looks pretty good. That's kind of like the base of the house. But guys, that's what we're going to start with here today. Uh, Victorian house. Let's build. It looks a little bit gothic, but I'm still going to call it Victorian. Um, I like our start. I don't love it because it's just, it's hard to wrap my head around this. <laughs> this is pretty detailed. So uh, it's probably going to take a while to build this house, but I'm up for it if you guys are. So Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been Dan Lags. Actually, what I could do is, real quick, guys, real quick, I could actually place a block there and then trim that. Place a block there and trim that. That way, it's kind of like two and two, and it also covers up that weird um, connection between the stone brick and the quartz. Yeah, that looks even better. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave it today, guys. I'm officially done. We worked way too long on this than I expected for the first episode, but at least we have kind of like a foundation of the style of this build. I like the sandstone and the quartz. I think this looks very uh, mansion-esque, so maybe, this, maybe we'll call this thing the Victorian Manor when it's all said and done, but Victorian house for now, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been Dan Lags. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This was a doozy, but uh, I like the start, so... 
guys, I'm going to end the video. I'll see you guys back for episode two of this Let's Build in a few days. And I will see you guys then. Have a good day and peace out.